Let's take a look at God's word written in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25. One day, we will enter the eternal kingdom of heaven. The Bible teaches us that when heaven's gate is opened wide and we march toward heaven, we will receive much glory. Among the words given here, it says, everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. There are two types of crowns, the perishable and the imperishable, which is eternal. For this reason, it is written that we must work hard to get the crown that will last forever. We must protect this imperishable crown. Let's see verse 26. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. Instead of just living as we want, we should think, how can I protect my eternal crown of life? What should I do? How can I give glory to God? How can I shine the glory of God's name in Samaria and to the ends of the earth? In this way, we must think about how to please God with our actions. How meaningless it is to run aimlessly or to beat the air. Protecting something without knowing the purpose is meaningless. We must first realize and know what to protect. So here it is written, Therefore I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. I must protect eternal life and the kingdom of heaven. I must believe God's promise to grant me the heavenly kingdom. I must keep my faith. I must protect the truth. This is the essence that we must strive to protect. This is what we should devote ourselves for. We should never be obsessed with or deceived by the shell itself and end up losing the essence. Thank you very much.